Hey guys, welcome to my video. So this is part two for this um, old window motor I built back in 2001. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, I'd suggest watching the one before this first. So first video we were using the mechanical switching system on it. And this one, uh, we're not using that at all. We're just hooked strictly up to the to the coils. This is a little Hall effect sensor right there hanging down in there. And then I have this little MOSFET circuit and it's controlled with Adreno as a pulse width modulator. So we're going to run this and um, compare it to the mechanical way. So let's get this started. Um, the, the previous video, the motor was running at 2483 RPM so we're going to kind of match up the RPM and see what the difference is here so here we go let me start this one up So let's check the RPM on this. So the previous one was 2484. So this is 2514. So there we go. There's 25, maybe two. So we're just gonna slow this down just a hair. go so there's a RPM match so let's see what the input is so now we're using right around 300 milliamps um, in the previous video we were using 420 and the output now is 50 milliamps and in the previous video it was right around 5 to 10 milliamps so running a lot smoother other than the unbalancing of it uh, there's no more mechanical scratching and rubbing and a lot of extra friction going on. Um, this is tuned down the RPM, but this could actually go you know, quite a lot faster than it would with the mechanical ones. So, pretty fast. But just an old motor and it's really only zip tied with some glue that I made back back in 2001 so pretty neat for a old motor so there you have it there I'd say the the MOSFET wins on this one a um, lot better speed a lot less amperage use more output smoother operation quieter operation so I hope you enjoyed the video this is part two like I said, if you haven't seen part one, um, go to the previous video. Thanks for watching.